think you should What's up, Jet Riders? It's your girl, Justine, and I'm back with another video. All right, now, it's so much going on in the world. I just want to say, before I start this video, guys, I just want to say, we have to pray each and every day, because I don't know what the hell is going on. But I'm currently right now in California, and last night, I, I was in freak zone. Like, I was so paranoid, I don't even know what to do. I was really freaking out. I had a very, very bad anxiety attack. And it's because yesterday on the news, they announced um, the Bay Area to go under quarantine. And basically they can't leave their house to April 7th. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, that is just the beginning. What about if they start doing this everywhere? Like I, it just freaked me out. And I just was like, oh my God, what is this world coming to? What are we against? I don't know what's going on. They never, ever did this. I never experienced this in life. You know, I'm away from my family, my kids, and it just, I don't know. I just got overwhelmed, you know. Anyways, I thought it may be a good idea if I start doing like a series of every day, keeping up the day, just showing you guys, you know, you're not out there by yourself. You're not, you're not scared. You're not the only one scared, should I say. You're not the only one freaking out. I'm freaking out too. So... I make the best. I'm basically self isolated, and what it what if just in case y'all want to know, I basically I isolated myself from going outside because um, I do have asthma, and I'm thinking like if I catch this virus, you know, it may not be good for me. So I basically don't go nowhere. Now I do got my bottle of Lysol. I do spray in the house I'm at and. You know, it's still, I still take the safety precautions. Just like if you guys were, if you leave the house, come back, wash your hands. I mean, I do that anyway, okay? So, my daily activities for the day is very, very boring. I do nothing but lay in the bed, play the game, watch TV, boom, and eat. So, I got to start, I got to thinking like, I can't just sit here, be like a couch potato and, and, and gain weight and all this and then when all this stuff come up free i'm looking like a big old blimp while everybody else still looking good like i can't do that okay and then i basically was thinking about starving myself because i was so scared and nervous like i'm thinking i only can eat a little bit because i don't want to run out of food so anyway tonight i'm gonna cook some salmon and i thought it'd be a good idea if I just show you, bring you along with my daily activities. Um, maybe you feel encouraged or maybe you feel like you're not the only one. You have someone that watch that's going through the same thing. All right. But, guys, I'm going to tell you something. I've been praying, 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 praying like crazy. I know I know, y'all have to. Yeah, um, that's all we got right now is prayer. So, let me clean this fish, put it on the tray, and then show you what show you what I have because I'm cooking dinner tonight and I um these are just some of the things I already have around here um it feels crazy not to go to the restaurants but here in California um they really limit to the restaurants only to being for takeout or delivery so and I had talked to my son in Arizona and he said like Chick-fil-a was closed like you only can go through the drive through and that's it. Like, they not playing any games, okay? So, anywho, let me clean this fish. And I'll be right back. Okay, now I got the salmon all seasoned. Uh, this part, I end up putting some um, minced garlic on half of it. And then the other half just have all the seasoning. So, here it is. And I'm getting ready to pop this in the oven good old green beans you need green in your diet this help build your immune system so y'all know since i'm in self-quarantine now that it's only right that i make videos every day right so i was thinking about getting back into reactions because uh, a lot of you guys love my reactions to stuff so i think this would be a good time to get back into reactions 
All right, guys, so this is the fish once it's done. It looks so good. So I'm gonna show you once I get everything together on the plate. Okay, so you know, when you cook, you gotta taste your food. Let me see, do I got a fork here? So I can uh, taste my food. Let's see, oh my God. It is like, maybe I should show y'all this, what it's doing, hold on. You see how, this is how you want your salmon just be like kind of flaky, very moist, just easy to pop out. Okay, so let's see if how this goes. Mmm, girl, mmm. Mm-mm. Mm. 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 So good. I wish y'all was here. I just wish y'all was here to taste this. All right, so here's my fish, my salmon, and my rice and green beans. And if you want to know what kind of rice it is, it is this. Uncle Ben's whole grain medley quinoa brown with garlic. Oh my God, fish got garlic, rice got garlic, and the green beans got garlic. Like what the? So guys, what I'm gonna do now is go sit down, relax, and ha enjoy my meal. Too bad I won't be able to share this with you guys with a mukbang or whatever it is. But hopefully the next time I can. All right, guys, so that's basically it for my day. Um, I'm probably just going to get ready for bed. And, you know, I normally comb my hair and braid it at night and um, put on me some PJs. And I'm basically just going to chill, you know, here, um, getting tired of hearing the news. It's just so it just touched me every time I hear the news about um something being closed, something being canceled. It's really depressing. So anyways, I just seen on the news, they said the Kentucky Derby is closing in May for the first time since World War II. I'm like, what? And I don't like how people just try to make it downplay like this is like everything is going is, is, everything is gonna to be fine Okay, that's cool to be positive and stuff like that, but I don't know. I'm just thinking we don't really know everything because why would you shut down everything that ain't as bad as the flu? I don't get that part. Yeah, so I'm going to watch Netflix and my son was telling me like, the things that's on Netflix, like, you know how they got you to trending or recommend it? It's like movies that say contagious or outbreak or, or like, why is they taking advantage of this situation? Like, no, I don't want to see that. But then I was thinking, I was like, well, maybe I should see that because now I can learn how to survive. Maybe we should watch the movie so we know what to do to survive. I don't know. It's just scary. So, um, um, I was on the game earlier, played the game with my sons. I was so happy to play the game with them because it gave me some interaction time with my, uh, sons. But, um, these days you just have to keep busy as much as you can exercise, uh, meal, meal prep, um, talk to your loved ones. Make sure you check on everybody that, that you know, you know. I haven't really had a chance to check on anybody back in Milwaukee, but I have been talking to my kids. Oh, I talked to my mom. She's doing okay. I'm kind of scared for her, but as long as she stay in the house and don't see nobody, I think she'll be okay. So I think my other siblings, what they're doing is just, you know, going over there as needed or whenever she needs something, just go get it. And maybe that's just the best choice right now. She don't need to interact with people and get sick. So, Yeah. Anyway, guys, you have to make the best of the situation. You know, if you're home with your family, your children, get this, use this time spending it with your kids, spending it with your husbands or wives. Like you want to use this time maybe to spend it with your family because you ain't, you've been so busy that you haven't even had a chance to really spend with them. So um, 
think of it as a, as a vacation, you know. We have to make the positive. Uh, we have to look at things positively all the time. So, anywho. If you're new to this channel and it's the first time you're watching this video, don't forget to subscribe, okay? To subscribe is free. It don't cost you a thing, you know? And also, you don't want to forget to hit that bell button so you'll be notified of every video I upload, okay? Now, this video may seem boring to a lot of people, but I think it was real informative. I think it helped encourage somebody or, I don't know, maybe I gave somebody an idea today they didn't think about. Or maybe I gave you an idea to cook a nice dinner for your family, see? Anywho, I just want to say, y'all, every day that we have, we need to pray and, and be thankful, okay? So with that said, I just want to say I love each and every one of you guys and be safe and may God be with us all. Till the next video. Peace.